Okay, Year 11, welcome to step two of creating your digital composition collage. So in our last video, we had three saved images of the artists, Bruno Metra, Bruno Del Zoo, and Henrietta Harris. I'm now going to use with you some software that you can all access for free online with no issues, and it's called PixLR. So I'm going to open a new tab up here, and I'm going to spell that out for you. So PixLR, so P-I-X-L-R. And what PixLR is, is a free photo editor, which is online, where you can do different effects, filters, overlays. It's very simple, um, but you can also use some quite expert tools on it as well. It's very, very similar to Photoshop. OK, so we're going to do a little bit of a crash course. So here we are, openpixlr.com. And it'll give you two options. We are not playful. We are advanced. So please click on the advanced option there. OK, so at this stage, I use this quite a lot for GCSE photography. But for you at this stage, you'll need to open up some images. And the images that you're going to be opening, of course, are the ones that you looked at uh, for the three that you chose originally before. So I'm going to click open image. And as you know, I save my images in my downloads folder. So just click uh, one of them. And then we can explore. So all it's going to do now is open up that image and we can in a moment do some editing so first of all really important it says at the top here layer is locked in position unlocked to enable transforms you cannot do anything to this until you take this little padlock button off so if you just have a little click on it double click there it goes can you see the padlock's gone and that means we can have a good collage uh, with this piece of work we can chop into it which is great so for digital co digital collage, imagine now you're sat at a desk and you have a pair of scissors in your hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to take bits off this face that we are interested in. And for you, it could be a picture you might be collaging from. Um, it doesn't have to be a face. It's whatever you've, you've got. So on the left hand side, you've got some tools. We're going to predominantly use uh, this lasso select tool, OK, which is freehand polygon. Uh, there is also a magnetic lasso on there as well. And we're going to be using this arrange tool as well and a bit of copying and pasting. I'm going to keep it really simple so far. So click on the lasso tool at the top of the lasso tool. And then you've got on here, you've got magnetic, media, polygon and free. So if you're doing free, I can literally just create a selection. Now these little dots, I call them the marching ants, and you can move this selection wherever you want. OK, it's not done anything yet, so don't worry, you've not damaged anything. If at any point you think, ah, that's not what I want, press Control and D on your keyboard. I'll do that again. So press Control and D on your keyboard, which basically means to deselect. And if you don't want to do that, you can also click select and deselect. OK, to get rid of the marching ants. So what does this do? It just selects anywhere on your work. OK, so I might like this bit here. OK, and then if I wanted to work with that further, what could I do? Well, very simply, if I just go on to copy, edit and copy and edit and paste and click allow, it'll create what we call a layer which you can see over here. Now, these on tick boxes here, I'm seeing both at the same time. So I'm seeing this one over here and I'm also seeing this one here. So that's where it originally was. It's created a layer for me and I can ooh, make it a bit bigger. I can move it around, etc. Can you see? So this is what I've just created by copying and pasting. You'll get used to this, OK? As you go along, you will get used to it. So this is what I've created. But of course, when I see in both layers, it's like this. Let's do it again. Using the magnetic lasso tool, this time I'm going to change it. You see this magnetic one here. I can then kind of go around. And what this tool tends to do is it tends to stick to similar pixels of color. So you get a better match. Can you see? And once again, edit, copy, edit, paste. And can you see I've now got a second layer? Now it's three layers at the moment, but a second layer that's been created. Let's just take these off so you can see. OK, that's my first one that I made. This is another one that I've made. OK, so we've got quite a few of them on there. Um, let's move these around. So can you see I've got this little cursor range tool here? So let's move them around a little bit. OK, let's go back on here. Make sure I've got my background selected. 
and do that mouth again because for some reason it doesn't seem to want to play. There we go. Make sure you've got the marching ants. Edit, copy, edit, paste. And there you go. That's word now. Can you see I've got their mouth now floating in midair? <laughs> now, when you are uh, selecting your bits to cut out, so you can see now I've cut out this and I've cut out this. Can you see now I'm starting to create this kind of collage of different pieces? And there's nothing wrong from you having that assembled also on the background. Um, so having it all together and you can again use this cursor tool kind of to reassign things to different places. OK, so that's me just using this tool. Of course, you can. You know, you've got other options on here. If you see, you can flip it. You see that flip tool up there. Take it that way as well. So I might flip that the other way. So it's in a different position. I might flip this round. OK. <laughs> that's like a teddy bear. OK, right, so that's where I am at the moment. But you're going to say now, well, Miss, you've got those other images. I know I have, so let's get them in as well. To insert my other images, all I'm going to do is image. Oh, sorry, layer. You see up here, layer, add images layer. I'm going to go for my second image and let's go for Bruno. Let's open him up. So Bruno, because it's quite a large image file, can you see how huge it is? So you have to scroll out a little bit and you can resign it if you want. So you can squidge it down a bit. Can you see I'm resizing it? There we go. And I probably want it roughly the same size as what I've got underneath, but you've got to decide. Can you see the neck sort of aligns up on there? Once you're happy with that, just the same, make sure you've got it clicked on. And then I'm going to do some selections from it. This time, because it's square, I can use the square selection tool. Off I go. So literally edit and copy and edit and paste. And there's the one. Again, click back onto the original image. And then I'm going to crop that. I'll have that little bit there. And then edit and copy and edit and paste. So we're effectively, again, go back to the original image. Going back to basics here, we are just cutting out the bits that we're interested in. These are the scissors that you are using. It's just all digital. Edit, copy, edit, paste. OK. And then don't forget to use your arrange cursor and you can kind of assemble these over. So I've got a few bits on here. I've got that one and that one so far. You can see them all on there. Lovely. OK, and now I'm going to take my final artist. So layer, add images layer. And there's Henrietta. Here she is, lovely Henrietta. And again, you can resize, you know, she's quite stretchable. There we are, make it a little size you want it to be. And then you just, again, to choose a tool that matches yours. So again, you do have uh, the rectangular marquee. You can change it to a circle if you just want a circle. OK, to copy and paste. Again, I've been using this. If you don't like that harsh edge, you can have it feathered. So if I just show you this now, it'll kind of feather the edge when you edit and copy and edit and paste, or it should do. Can you see that's quite feathered there? It, the reason it's done that is because I've not got the right image selected. So let's just try that again. Control and Z to undo. Let's just make sure I'm on her. And I'm going to select again. A little bit of a random area this time. So that feather will give a nice soft edge if you want a nice sort of soft layered edge. And then when you're on that, you can then, there we are, edit and copy. There we are. And edit and paste. And you can see that new selection that I've got beautifully sort of layers up there. OK, I do like that feathering tool. It's beautiful. OK, right then. So here we go. I'm going to stop there. At this moment in time, you might leave this video with quite a few layers. Everything's going to be all mushed together. Don't worry about it. I'm going to start collaging together in the next video.